Hey guys, Sensei Tom down here at Torah Martial Arts Academy. Uh, even though we're going to be closed this week for the coronavirus outbreak, I do want to post a few videos throughout the next couple of weeks so that our students have some material they can work on a little bit at home. So today I'm going to share with you guys a couple blocking exercises that I want our youth students to work on. The first one is going to be for our beginner students. If you're white belt, yellow belt in the beginner class, this is the one I want you guys to focus on. It's our non-chambering blocks, okay? So the drill is going to look like this. You can take stance whichever leg forward, and I want you to start with the hand, same leg as the, the foot that's in front, that same hand on the opposite shoulder, and we're going to go through four blocks all together at once. So the first one is the down block. From this position, you're going to circle it up to the outside block, just to the outside of the shoulder. You want your wrist about the same height as your shoulder. From here, it's going to come across, straight in front of the chest for the inside block, and the last one, straight up over the head for the head block. On the head block, you don't want the arm straight, you don't want it straight across, you want it about 45 degrees for maximum strength. So you're going to do all four together in a flow drill. First, again, down block, outside block, inside block, and head block. Okay, from the other side, same thing. From the shoulder, down block, circle it up to the outside block. Make sure you don't lift it into position because unless it circles in front of the body this way, that block won't clear any center line attacks like a straight punch. So even if you can get to the right place, you've got to get there in the right path. Make sure you circle it across. Same thing here. When you come across, it can't scoop up underneath. It's got to come across the front of the chest. And then the last one again is the head block. So again, the down block, circle it for the outside block, bring it across for the inside block, and the last one is the head block. Let me show that from the side angle. Again, one foot in front, blocking with the front hand. Down block, circle it for the outside block, bring it across for the inside block, and the head block. Okay, and last time from this angle, again, down block, outside block, inside block, and head block. What I recommend you guys do is go through that maybe 10 times or so on each side. Okay, that's a good way to practice the blocks for the beginners. Now, for the more advanced students that already know their non-chambering blocks, I want you guys to practice a little bit with the chambered versions of each block. So I'm going to show all four variations. Okay, The first one is the down block. So again, if you put one foot in front, if you take the fist and you put it on the shoulder, as you throw the down block, you'll bring this hand to the down block position and the other hand comes back. So you can practice that a few times on one side. I would recommend also doing that on the other side. Same thing, blocking hand on the shoulder and bring it down, this hand coming back to the hip. Okay? Again, you can do about 10 on each hand. The tricky part is when you start to alternate, and then you have to change which hand is doing the block and which hand is doing the, the chamber. So from here, it's going to look like this. If I chamber one side on the shoulder and block, and now the next side comes from the hip up to the shoulder and block. Again, hip from the hip up to the shoulder and into the down block. Hand on the hip comes up to the shoulder and down block. So you can alternate left and right with the down block. Okay? The next one is the outside block. Blocking arm is going to be straight, fist on the hip, and for the block you just flip the straight arm over, again wrist about the same height as the shoulder. Just as before you can practice a few on one side, the tricky part is to alternate. So now the fist on the hip comes straight out, just like a punch, other hand is on top of the elbow, and outside block. Again, fist on the hip comes straight out like a punch and flip it over for the block. That one from the side, straight out like a punch, and outside block. Straight off the hip like a punch, make sure this hand is on top of the elbow, and outside block here, okay? Next one is the head block. For the head block chamber, you'll cross the arms in front, not touching the body this way. I want them out in front a little bit. The blocking arm should be the one on the inside. So right now my left is inside, my left is going to be the block, okay? So the left arm on the inside, left arm is going to block. And then again, from here, the hand on the hip slides up to the inside, and now that arm is my blocking arm. Again, make sure it's not straight, make sure it's not completely flat, what about 45 degrees? Chamber and head block, chamber and head block. The last one of the chamber blocks is our chop block. It's going to look a lot like the down block chamber, except the fingers are extended, make sure the thumbs are tucked, and from here for the chop block, the block will come out in front of the shoulder, and this time instead of the hip, this hand is going to stop here on the chest. And now again, the tricky part is rather than just doing the same side over and over again, which you absolutely could if you're starting out with that, to alternate left and right. The hand on the chest slides up to the shoulder as the other hand comes down, and from here, we block with the other side, okay? Make sure the fingers are together. I don't want them all spread apart like this. Fingers nice and tight. 
Hand on the chest, slides up to the shoulder, and block. Slide to the shoulder, notice my arms are connected, they're not spread apart here, arms are connected, and block, okay? Once you get the basic blocks and chambers down, you can also start mixing them up a little bit. You can go through each one, down block, outside block, head block, chop block. You can mix them all together, and that way you get good practice. That will really challenge some of you upper belts a little bit to uh, have a little bit more fun with that while you guys spend your time at home. All right, guys, we're going to post some more videos throughout the week with some different stuff. We'll be working on um, a few things here this week. So make sure you guys keep up with that a little bit at home, and we will hopefully see you guys here in a couple weeks. Take care, guys.